Hello, Internet! I'm Hamster Bomb, and you were watching some more Pokemon Cute Charm. And oh my gosh, we're finally here. I can't believe we're finally here. So much has gone up to this point. 112 episodes of shiny Pokemon hunting, and Magic the Jigglypuff is now finally standing here victorious. And we get to take inventory of all the shinies we have collected through the series that I have kept in Dex order. So we're gonna get to see all of them today before we move on and we have a final challenge coming next time. But before we do that, obviously, it's time to take a look at what shinies we do have. Now, there's a couple other boxes I have over here to the left that have some additional shinies. Those are stuff that I'm just gonna be giving out to you guys. That was all what it was gonna be for. I've explained that in past episodes. We're not gonna take a look at them. But before we move on to the main event of the actual collection of all the shinies that we got from Q-Charm, there's some that you guys recognize from the series who really should be honored in here as well. And we're going to go through and move to these guys because Pokemon like Blue Moo, I shiny hunted hoping that I could raise them throughout the series. Blue Moo, obviously um, with Mil Tanks for some other Pokemon and as well as other ones we got like uh, my Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan, they could not shine because of Q-Charm because their genders would never change. So because of that, I decided to hunt them in my Pokemon Platinum game. I chained them. And because of that, Pokemon like this, oh my gosh, got to join us in our team and battle. Celsius was actually in my party, or in the box, through my entire playthrough of this game too. And oh my gosh, like, the dive ball thing. You guys gotta go back and watch these Pokemon have their own shiny Pokemon hunt videos. Not in the Q-Charm playlist, but in the shiny Pokemon playlist I have on my uh, channel different playlists entirely and Fahrenheit the love ball shiny Moltres I don't as of now have the Zapdos but I will get that Zapdos you guys know I'm hunting it out you know currently but anyways moving on from Fahrenheit our awesome Moltres um Cerulean the Mew that came out oh my gosh just in the middle of the series and instantly became a member that was amazing I love this Mew so much obviously it's a level 73 um Hurricane also big member especially for fighting in the elite four we might take for our final challenge in the next episode i'm not sure yet we'll find out later we have a couple at the bottom here now these two are actually from q -Charm. we have hugs and kisses our identical shining spindas that's just hilarious how that even happened because of the uh the pid is being arranged weird now i actually stopped there because i have an, a few extras um, this was actually chained a long time ago. I never used in Q-Charm series. Same for Apple Juice, this, um, uh, Electivire. And then I have an extra Tyrogue and, and Miltank. Those I'm gonna be trading off as well. But other than that, we can now finally start looking through Kanto. It, it, I remember how exciting it was just to even see Kanto complete. Oh, great. Now I get to go through my nicknames, too. Oh, great. Some of them, a few, I did go back and change. For those of you guys who remember, there was some that needed changing. But anyway, we have Wiggles, our shiny Caterpie. Richard, the female, shiny Metapod. Uh, Sweetness, our level 8 shiny Butterfree. I love how some of them we got really low level, like as low as they could possibly get, because we got them as fast as we could. We had to get new Pokemon before we could progress. That was the game. -la 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 -la. Oh my gosh. That Weedle episode. Everything about the bug contest, which is finally done. Jeez Louise, that national park, yes. Oh. Greeny. It's no longer Ganini. Greeny. See, that's another name change thing. As our shiny Kakuna. And Yoko, our uh, Gurren Lagon piercing the heavens shiny um, Bee Drill. Nice. GSCC, our shiny Pidgey. Lady Luck, oh my god. Gosh, that episode. Ah, that episode's insane with the, uh, was it a 5% only during the middle of the daytime, one encounter shiny Pidgeotto. Mind blown. <laughs> and Sunlight, our glorious shiny Pidgeot. That looks amazing. It does. Joey, our shiny rat is a, it's a girl. Um, Jolina, however, is the female version. We have Jolina as our eradicate. Pecky. Our very first shiny Pokemon Q Charm find in the game. Ah, no, it's just nice seeing this this thing still here, still as a Spearow too, and not changed into it's a bird. Our shiny Spearow. My name's gotten really dumb, didn't they? 
We have Rattle. Yeah, it's a pretty stupid name, too. <laughs> I could have done better than that, but whatever, but still. Uh, we also have Venom. Oh, man, it's nice seeing that Safari Ball. That is like, mmm. After all that hard work in the Safari Zone, we got some really cool Pokemon in Safari Balls. That's nice. Zapadoodle. We have a shiny Pikachu. And Zazafraz. Also, is our shiny Raichu. Level-wise, it's funny that I have a level 4 and a level 8 that actually turn into the Raichu. I already have another shiny Raichu, so it's not like I'm gonna fight with these things or anything. These are all more like holding their slot for um, that Pokemon's place. For the uh, collection, rather. Not like, some of them, yes, I wanted to fight with, but not so, like obviously evolving a Raichu level 8 was kind of stupid, but still. It was just for cute charm. Quake, who actually survived Pokerus in that crazy episode. Our uh, Sandshrew, whose moves, by the way, I guess, I don't know if you guys want to see moves or, like, the natures and stuff. Moves I had to completely remove because, um, HMs for these Pokemon to trade up, they all gotta go, so that's just a pain. Um, but still, I'm, I guess I'm gonna leave natures up. We have Crimson Shiny Sand Slash. Mmm, that's nice. That is really nice. I, I like the Safari Ball as well, that's just really cool. Mystic, our Shiny Clefairy. Lucky Star, our shiny Clefable. We have Shy, our shiny Jigglypuff. And Faith, our shiny Wigglytuff. Um, Flapper <laughs> is our uh, Zubat. And Pinky, we actually had several Golbats throughout the series now that I remember, but Pinky was our first, I think. Uh, Ratty, our shiny Oddish. Fragra, our shiny uh, Gloom. I was losing it for a second. Stench, our shiny vile plume. Man, there's so many in this series, it's ridiculous. Bitsy, I remember how long I was looking. No, not for you, actually. I was looking for Sprout. Sprout took so long to get. Bitsy, we actually went back and got right away. Um, it was in a different environment, but still. Sprout, holy cow. I'm pretty sure Sprout's at the end of this box. And that is our first one. And holy cow, like, I, I even got a speed up now like there's so many in here it's amazing Lil fuzzy i think um this venonat did not have a name so i decided to go back and give it a name vex shiny venomoth this i did raise in uh so silver's game to uh you know progress that one so we can go for more shiny hunts and stuff uh for legendaries oh actually this knows it's in a sport ball too that's pretty awesome boo boo oh my gosh that uh that diglet out of nowhere and that one patch of grass that was insane my pals! I got all fam, my pals! My pals are great. Herpa Duck, the shiny, um, uh, Psyduck. Jeez, I'm messing this up. And a Netball shiny Space Duck. Monkel. Oh, yeah, because, um, our, uh, Mankey was actually named, um, Tommy because I wanted my primate, Tommy, to be named Tommy. So I went back and named the other one Monkel for the, uh, new Tommy figure names. That's what they call them now. So, um, anyway, Tommy was awesome. Same deal sent over to the, uh, Soul Silver game. Pupper. Um, I don't think we had a name for this Growl, so I went back and named it Pupper. And, oh my gosh, we might be using, I don't know, Golden Fang is a beast. This thing is awesome, and we got dead lucky that it cured his Pokerus as well. So, um, it was, uh, one of those survivors that, it's, it's just incredibly powerful plug I love this thing. Vince Gerald is our shiny Poliwag. Oh my, I remember that. So long ago. That was so long ago. Some of these early ones. We're mixing. This is so weird seeing them in, like, number order. Because this is all changing. Like, croquis. That took so much longer after that. We got... I dropped my stylus. Did I really? Oh, no, it's here. Okay. Uh, croquis, our shiny Poliwhirl. And Puddaloo, our shiny Poliwrath. Psy, our Premier Ball. Wow, shiny Abra. I didn't even remember that. That's cool. Mental. Yeah, that, that needs an Ultra Ball. That thing was evil. Uh, shiny Kadabra. And Chi. Our Quick Ball, shiny Alakazam. We have Patty, a shiny Machop. Chris, our shiny Machoke. Exposed, our shiny Machamp. Uh, Pepper. Oh, that was like episode three. It was. No, two? Not even been two. Like, that was so long ago. Oh my, it's so weird seeing that, like, this next to this. To me, it's like, oh, my mind is just being screwed up. Fable, now that took a long time later. 
but was right next to Flycatcher, our shiny Victory Bell. Squishy, our um, shiny Tentacool. I think we had to fish this one, and that was actually our first really rare fish, and that took forever. I really regret it. That was like the first one and only one. I did not have my face cam on for like a couple fishing episodes early on. I regretted it immediately. Opal. Aw, oh, looks glorious. Look at all those tentacles. Like shiny tentacruel. Pebbles are shiny. Geodude, that was an early find. And actually, obviously, as you can see, kind of stayed on my team for a while. I went back and changed the name to Raptor Ball. Our uh, shiny Graveler. And Chocolate. Our shiny Golem. Cookies is our shiny Ponyta. Tuna Salad. Oh my gosh, you made me so angry. This just wouldn't appear for me. I don't know why. It just didn't. Well, it did. But it took a long time. You gotta watch that episode. You gotta watch all of these episodes if you don't know what all these are together. It's just weird. Then you'll know what I'm going through right now. GS Star, our shiny Slowpoke. And that's actually the end of this box. So, jumping on over to the next one. We have one more full win and then a half win for the end of Kanto. We have Hermit Bear, our shiny Slowbro. I'll try and go a little faster. Duck, our shiny Farfetch'd. Ten Mill, our shiny... Uh, they're girls. Uh, or, it's a girl. I don't understand. Shiny Doduo. Mip Skip Mo was actually raised in Sil Silver. Our shiny Dodrio. Hugums, our shiny Seal. Womanatee, our shiny Dugong. Snotwad, our shiny Grimer. Algae, our shiny Muck. Nice. Valve, our shiny um, Shelter. And Barnacle, our shiny Cloister. Oh, lovely shiny. That's so cool. A uh, shiny Ghastly. Haze. That's an early one, too. Sabrina, however, took a lot longer, as you can see the Safari Ball. The Haunter. Tombstoner, our shiny Gengar. Is a uh, Dust Ball, actually. Geode. I went back and changed this one because we had duplicates on a name. It was originally Crystal for the Crystal Onyx. For reasons you'll see later, I changed its name to Geode. Sleeper. Our... Shiny Drowsy and Pulse, our shiny Hypno. Those, that pink is insane. Cookie, our shiny Krabby and Boss, as uh, I actually did use in this game quite a bit. This Kingler was insanely powerful. I'm so glad I went back and caught extra shiny Krabbies. Even though they were 5% fishing already, we got Dead Lucky and we got a Naughty Nature one, a better one. Breakfast. <laughs> but because my shiny execute <laughs> um nugget who was raised in soul silver and uh some a little bit in hard gold too this is a very good pokemon our shiny executor decay our shiny cubone and refuge our shiny marowak mouthful our shiny lick tongue sickness our shiny coughing Diabolical. Man, that is one of the nicest looking shinies. I love the color flop in there. Chocolady, our shiny, um, Rhyhorn. And Hokey, our shiny Rhydon. Now, I remember I went back and changed the Rhyperior. If you remember Rhyperior's original name, now it goes with Hokey, because it was supposed to go with that. Jiggles, our shiny Tangela. Depp, our shiny Horsey. Jibber, our shiny Seedra. I remember how long it took for me to go back and get you two. Uh, I thought it was gonna be easy, and then, like, they wouldn't let me go down to that area where I could get them because of Lugia or something like that? I don't know. If I had, uh, Soul Silver, I could have gotten them a little earlier, but not really. Anyway, our final chunk of Kanto. Here we go. Bop-ba-doo! Definitely not endorsing any, uh, companies here. Sea Queen, our shiny Sea King, and Golding was the last one if you don't know your Pokemon. Leprechaun, our shiny, uh, uh, Mr. Mime. Oh my gosh. Bloody Mary. Our shiny Scyther. Oh my gosh. In a sport ball. National Park. Good God. Though the second one was worse. It was a lot worse. But you were insane. Vulgan. Our shiny Electabuzz. Spitfire. Oh man, that was insane too. It was all because of the gender thing. I was learning. I was learning how it worked. Our shiny Magmar. Cupcake, another National Park find. That was really tough. Our shiny Pinsir. Stephanie, our shiny Magikarp. Bethany, our Hunted. 
Lake of Rage, um, Shiny Gyarados. We also have the re the regular re Red Gyarados, who is Red Scale, in the other box for you guys. Lily! Oh, yes. Now, this one, as you guys know, was raised in our game for a long time. Help me beat Lance that first time around. Our Shiny Lapras. Amazing Pokemon. Also, got cured Pokerus. Totoro! Our Heavy Ball, Shiny Snorlax. I raised a little bit in this game, and I think a little bit in the Soul Silver. Um, it's at level 57. I think inevitably we need to bring this to Trainer Red because of the move down there, Rock Climb. Something needs to know Rock Climb in order to even get to Trainer Red, which is my only complaint about his fight in this game. And that's, that's, it was really, uh, to block the character off from getting to him, but still. Either way, we're probably gonna have Totoro for sure on our team next time. Moving on from here, we have Premier, our glorious, shiny Dratini in a Premier Ball. Who I believe was holding a dragon scale or something like that, if I remember correctly. I don't remember. I think so. Because I took it off and I moved it. Claire, our shiny Dragonair, who was not alone in the Dragon's Den, because we also found Eon, our Lurbald shiny Dragonite, who is now holding that same dragon scale. I believe that our Dratini had, if I am remembering this correctly. Eon, I think, is my highest level Pokemon right now with 75. Eon's amazing and might be our MVP against Trainer Red, but I have no idea. It's gonna be on top of uh, Mount Silver. That's gonna be a terrifying battle next time. I'm really scared of that, but we still have to figure out who exactly we're bringing you next time. We get to move on to Johto. Fluffums. And Episode 2, Shiny Centret, who uh, took a long time to get the evolution for. Fluffums, a level 42 Shiny Furret. Tootsie, our shiny hoot hoot. That took, that was right away too. But young one. I love how, like, like I said with that uh, Butterfree, we could find some evolutions that had, like, a really low level. And, you know, like, that's, like, the only way to get that Pokemon already. And it's shiny. That's so cool. Spook, our level two shiny spinner. I gotta go back and get another one because we raised Nursilla, our shiny Ariados. What a nice looking shiny. That's glorious. Crowbar, our shiny Crobat. I had to use a friend ball in order to buff up those uh, points faster because it took so long from Mount Silver Cave. Oh, beautiful. I love the animation on that. Gotta see it again. Like it lights itself up. It's just glorious. Current, our shiny Chinchu. And Anglera, our shiny Lantern. Beautiful. Toots, our shiny Natsu, and Gloves, our shiny Zatu. Fuzzums, our shiny Marie. Marble, our shiny Flappy. And Outback, our shiny Ampharos. Love how even in the mouth was blue. What? Big nasty. <laughs> our shiny Blossom. Oh, jeez. Aqua, the shiny Meryl. If anything was actually worse than Scyther, it was this thing. This 1% shiny Meryl. Oh my gosh. And then, of course, we get flooded with them in the Safari Zone. With Bella, our shiny Azumarill. That is a blindingly bright shiny. It looks kind of awesome. Poser. Oh, man. That episode got lost. Made me so sad. But still, it is still here. Poser, our shiny Sudorudo. Puladu. Not Puddaloo. We have Puladu and Puddaloo. Puladu, our shiny Polly Toad. Flower, our shiny Hoppip. Bloom, our shiny Skip Bloom. And Jump Love, our shiny Jump Love. Muffin was also in that lost episode, uh, though I have a video that kind of fills in that space, if you guys remember. It's really early on. Uh, Muffin, our shiny Apom. Glisten, our shining Sunkern, who turns into Sunny, our shining Sunflora. Ah, nice tune. Our amazingly quick shiny hunt. That was so much fun. Shiny, and that freaked me out too. Our shiny Yanma. Goober, our shiny Whooper. Quaggy, our shiny Quagsire. Captain Squawk, our shiny uh, Murkrow. And uh, our Slowking, which actually this one, I could not name. And you see this one's a quirky nature. Just to quickly ha answer why that is. Um, originally, on a different game, when a friend of mine was trying to even figure out how Q-Charm was working, and, and technically this is like one of the only, maybe the only exception to a Pokemon not captured by me, but I could get another one if I wanted to. The reason I wanted this one in particular is because this was our first shiny that proved that we had Pokemon Q-Charm working on his game. 
he had a quirky game so it was kind of rare i did it on my own and fortunately i was in a different bracket and that had much higher chances but still this is our very first q charm shiny ever that we got it to work i wish i'd named it i just wish i'd named it but we didn't so it is actually from a different game and that's all that's all we have from here so moving on uh to our next box in johto we have banshee our shiny mistrevis mrs w our shiny uh wabafet chomp our shiny uh giraffe rig bomber our oh my gosh our shiny exploding shiny pinko and p are also exploding no not exploding shiny um fortress i was gonna lose it there for a second ah oh, love love is great i made fun of this pokemon so much until i finally raised it and wow i gotta say a serene grace headbutting um glare even on top of that and rollout just everything this pokemon can actually get really good and rage i think even gets a buff from serene grace i don't know but this thing was actually really good i i was really surprised for early game that's actually a great pokemon but whatever scorpio our shiny glygar diamond who i was so darn close to raising but i actually changed my mind against it our shiny steelix walrus our shiny snubble bull face our shiny grand bull i had to wait for a swarm to even go back and get that one but technically it was offline but the evolution you guys did see thorn our uh, fish shiny quailfish there you are reaper our national park adamant technician shiny scissor that is incredible that may be one of the coolest shiny finds we have in the entire game that pokemon is unbelievable i can't wait to raise it if i ever get the chance admiral our uh shiny shuckle that hunt was oh painful but i'm glad that i did a unique hunt for you shuckle shuckle deserves it i love shuckle queen our love oh no heal ball actually shiny heracross is that a that's a heal ball heracross was the last pokemon in that lost episode so bummer we lost that one but still queen is still here Voopadoop. Voopadoop is our shiny Sneasel. Charcoal, our shiny um, uh, uh, Slugma. Uh, I know my Pokemon. Shut up. Toast, our shiny Macargo. Porkalork, our shiny Swinub. Chill, our shiny Peliswine. Coral, our shiny Corsola. We have Jet, our. Wow, that was so rare, too. That was crazy. Our shiny Remoraid. Which brings us to Blobzy. Our shiny Octillery. Flappy, our shiny Mantine. Devil Dog, oh man. Oh, you, that episode. Everything about that one. Our, um, our shiny Houndour. Scorcher, our lonely shiny Houndoom. From the Safari Zone, too, dang. And Kraken, our naughty shiny Kingdra. Ah, uh, Sahara, nice one. Our shiny Adamant, uh, Fampy. Bulldozer, our shiny Donphan. Fabulous! Our shiny Stantler. And Master, our uh, shiny Smeargle, who I surprisingly I didn't use this one for my uh, shiny hunting stuff when I made a better Smeargle in this game. It's our level 101 that you saw in the box over there. It's non shiny. I prefer a non shiny one to hunt with, just because it doesn't sparkle on you and get you distracted. And that's actually it for this box. So, anyway. We have our next tier of them right here. So let's go. We're ending Johto in three Pokemon. And after this, it's all Hoenn. Let's see. So we have World Eater. Our Safari Zone shiny Larvitar. Butterbum. Oh, man. That that took so long to find that. The, the world of lies. Our shiny Pupitar. Leaving Muffin. <laughs> Muffin. Our shiny Naughty Tyranitar. New Dog. Now we're in Hoenn. Our shiny Poochiana. Pup Tart, our shiny Mightyena. Ooh, shiny! Zigzagoon. I am Fluff, our shiny Linoon. Wormy, our shiny Wurmple. Silk, a National Park shiny Silcoon. And also National Park Serenity, our shiny Beautifly. Nice. Actually, I think they're all National Parks. I don't know about the Wurmple. Was Wurmple? No, Wurmple was not. Wurmple was something else. Great Fox. Our shiny National Park Cascoon. 
and Mothra are shiny national park dust talks. Now, like, the, the Pokeball to me now just means, like, wow, that's so cool, that rarity, because it tells a story. They all tell a story, and I think the best part about all this is every single one of these Pokemon does really tell a story. There's so many episodes, you can go back and see literally all of these. Oh my, it's so, like, ah, I love my own series too much. I guess I'm just too excited. I'm geeking out about my own stuff. Sorry. Mega Cool, our shiny Lotad. Cake, our shiny Lombri. And Pie, our shiny Ludicolo. Buckeye, our shiny C Dot. Spirit, our shiny Nuzleaf. And Wily, our shiny Shiftry. Squawk, our shiny Taylo. Quack. Quack, our shiny Swallow. Subin, our shiny Wingle. Gondo, our shiny Pelipper. Waltz, our shiny Ralts. Dancer, our shiny Curlia. And Grace, our mwah, shiny Moonballed Gardevoir. I know it's not got a great nature. I already hunted my own Gardevoir, and mine's got a better nature, and it's already a level 100. Sorry that. This one's just to look pretty, and it does a darn fine job of that, if you ask me. Slider, our shiny Surskits. Muse, ah, beautiful, beautiful. Shiny Masquerade. Peach, oh my god. For how hard this shiny was to get, Shroomish. It was unreal how easy Stu was. You gotta see those episodes if you haven't already. Stu, our shiny Breloom. Glorf, our shiny Slackoff. And that's actually it for this box. Now, finally, we had uh, two other Slackoffs we caught that you guys are probably gonna get who had names that went with Glorf. They were like Gulof and Glarg or something like that. But since we had to go back and we found out we could get them another way in the Safari Zone, we went back and did it anyway for two Vigoroths recently. We just got Malazes and Butter. Butter, the nose picking and shiny slacking. Hornet is our national park Nankata. Sorrow is our Ninjask. And Sachi, we actually went back to rename this one after one of you guys. Thanks for that. Shedinja. Belch, our shiny Whismer. Gas Blast, our shiny Loudred. Why? And Burp, our shiny X Cloud. I think I like Gas Blast. That's probably one of the best names I've ever come up with yet. Pid. Oh, because it's dip backwards. Makahita. Yes, because dip is our shiny level ball. Shiny Hariyama. Polka. Why did you give me so many problems, this thing? Really? You guys were even telling me you wanted me to catch more Azurils and level them up and evolve them and try and get a shiny male out of the series. Because as you can tell, if you guys don't even know yet, every shiny must be female in our game to make it even function as Q-Charms. It's, it's the thing that happens. So anyway, because the Azurill can actually evolve into a different gender ratio, has a chance of becoming male. That could have happened. I didn't do it. Snuffle, our shiny nose pass. Bronze, our shiny Sableye. Doinkies, our shiny Aeron. Pickaxe, our shiny Lyron. And Salami, our shiny Agron. That thing is mighty. Edulinator, our shiny Metatite. Quatmarabu, our shiny Metacham. You like my names yet? Crystal, here's the one where I said Crystal wanted to stay. My shiny Electrike. It's named after my dog. And Mega Bear is named after the other doggy. I didn't know that I did that. Well, apparently I did. A shiny Manetric. Clue! I remember I had to go back and change these for reasons. You will see if you go back and watch that earlier episode. There was a problem. Clue is our shiny Plusle. And Manu is our shiny Minin. So we have Plue and Manu. Violet is our shiny Roselia. Stinkpot, our shiny Nummel. Oh, that took forever to level up. And Pancake, our shiny camera up. Cheesecake, good lord, what was wrong with you? Our shiny Torkoal, after all that time. Flippy, our shiny Spoink. And Floppy, our shiny Grumpig. Another one that took forever to level up. Infinity, our third. Matching shiny Spinda. Munchies, our shiny Trap Inch. And that's actually this box. Are we finishing Hoenn after this one? I'm not quite sure. Uh, yes. Hoenn will finish in this box. We're almost done. Sandstorm, our shiny Vibrava. And Cicada, our adamant shiny Flygon. Safari Ball. That's beautiful. Arid, our shiny Catnia. 
Birdie, our shiny Cockchurn. Da Fluff, our shiny Swablu. And Da Floof, our shiny Altaria. The Goose. Yes. Ah, oh, one of the nicest shinies ever. I guarantee you, if I ever make a top 10, like, best shinies ever list, that guy's showing up on it somewhere. Somehow. It's just too beautiful. Our shiny Zangoose. The Snake. Our shiny Sviper. Bobarch. I, I'm so bad sometimes at screwing up Pokemon's names. Bobarch, our shiny Barboach. And Whiskers, our shiny Whiskash. Scampy, our shiny Corfish. And Margarine, our shiny Crowdon. I have a Butter and I have a Margarine. So now that I got both of those covered, I guess we're good. Kermy, our shiny Shuppet. And Baguette. Oh wow, I just realized I had another Shuppet and now it doesn't work anymore be with the name thing because of Baguette. But whatever, you guys wanted Baguette in a live stream. Shiny Banette is shiny Baguette. Spooks. Our shiny Duskull. Blummy is our shiny Dusclops. A Blood Mummy. If you remember that, because later when we go to Dust Noir, it'll make sense. Trust me, it's gonna be weird. Storm. Our shining Chimecho. Or Chimeco? Chimeco? I don't know. Devil. Look at those eyes. That shiny Victory Road Absol. Beautiful. Puffles. Our shinies feel. Eggplant, recent shiny finds, our shiny Celio, and Bottle, our shiny pink Walrian. Scuba is our shiny Clamp Pearl, who we were able to evolve twice into Nautical, our shiny Huntail, and Snorkel, our shiny Gorbis. Ponyo is our shiny Relicanth. Kimothy is our shiny Love Disc. Yoshi is our shiny Bagon. Lima Bean. This is our shiny shell gone, leaving the final Pokemon who we just recently got. Skyheart, our shining brave Safari Ball Salamence. Beautiful, friggin' beautiful. But we have one more region to go, and we are finished here. We have Sinnoh to go. We have Pester, our shiny Starly. Twits, our shiny Staravia. And Annoying, our shiny Staraptor. The Pimp Mouse is our shiny Bee Doof. Dingus is our shiny Bee Barrel. Xylo is our shiny Cricketot. Viola is our shiny National Park Cricketune. I couldn't believe how much harder it was to get that second one that second time around. Should have kept it. Flash was our shiny Shinx. Lights is our shiny Luxio. Leaving Yellowberry, our shining Luxray. Ragweeds, our shiny Budu. Velvet, our shiny Roserade. Ferdinand, our shiny Burmy. Trust me, it's shiny. There's a star there. I know you can't see it because it's one of the worst shinies I've ever seen in my life. We have shiny Pip, who is our shiny Wormadam. We have the other two later, by the way. Um, just for holding the slot for Wormadam, I chose the grass form because it just kind of made more sense to me. Moving on, we have Wasp, our shiny Combi. Bumble, our shiny Vespa Queen. The Friendship Squirrel is Shiny Pachirisu. Splatonk. Boizel. And Hatred. Shiny Floatzel. Anyway, moving on. Grape, we have Shiny Cherubi. Bloom, our Shiny Cherum, who in that episode we do get to see it shiny in sunny form. Burgers, our Shiny Ambipom. Hippity is our Baneary. We had Hoppity was our other one, but I went back and caught another one that was in a friend ball instead to get Love Bunny a whole lot faster. We have Cackle, our shiny Miss Magius. Moonlight, our shiny Honchcrow. Teardrop, our shiny Chingling. CMYK, our shiny Chatot. Chain Chomp, our shiny Gibble. Grills, our shiny Gabites. And that's actually the box, so it's going to be starting off with the final evolution. The Garchomp. Sharkira, our shiny Garchomp. Next we have Meryl. Man, these were both insane with the uh, Safari Zone glitches we had, which honestly, man, I still don't even understand what the heck was happening, but whatever. Meryl, our shiny Riolu. And Voyavoda, our shiny Lucario. Hippotatas, our shiny Hippopotas. Hippotato, our shiny Hippodon. It's confusing, isn't it? Starburst, our shiny Scorpy. 
and Cherry, our shiny Drapion. Bunzo's our shiny Krogunk. Road Rage, our shiny Toxicroak. Venus, our shiny Carnivine. Zippy Poppin, <laughs> our shiny Weevil. Badoink, our shiny Licky Licky. Pokey, Pokey and Pokey, they go together now. I changed the name, I fixed it, trust me. Our shiny Rhyperior. Everglade, our shiny Tangrowth. Rykov, our shiny Electivire. Burst, our shiny Magmortar. Double Tune, our shiny Yanmega. Man, these all took so much time getting these evolutions in here too. Sandwich, our shiny Gliscor. Oinkinator, our shiny Mamoswine. Pickle, our shiny Probopass. Mud, the other version of Blood Mummy. There is Blummy and Mud. Mud, the shiny Dust Noir. And now our two final forms of Wormadam. We have Pop in the Sand form and Pep in Trash form. And that is it. That is a ridiculous amount of Pokemon. A ridiculous amount, seriously. And going through all of those just resulting from this one. From this one Pokemon leading the party manipulating all sorts of weird number doodad math things going on with these Pokemon who are all so sexually attracted to my wonderful magical Jigglypuff. Could not resist leaving the entire region to shine outside of genderless Pokemon and Pokemon whose genders could not change, including ones who were only female. It's why we didn't see like Kangaskhan, Chansey, and Jinx in there. Pokemon like that, they will still not shine because they didn't have a chance to be male, therefore unaffected by Q-Charm. So, because of that, that leaves nothing left for us to do but take on our final challenge in the next episode, where we're going to challenge Trainer Red with a team of a collection of these Pokemon we're going to see right here. But for now, this has been an amazing, huge wrap-up of all of the Shinies we were able to take a look at through this series. If you guys, um, oh jeez, there, there's so much. If you're curious about any of the Pokemon you've seen in this episode, check the episodes past in the playlist. They're all there. There's a story to tell for everyone, like I said, and I wanted to babble for longer. Fortunately, I, I actually did. But either way, that is all the time we have for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next episode of Pokemon Q-Charm. Boop!